the stock portfolio of flying grows and we've recently added shutterstock and everything you have to know about this website i tell you now <music> The first step is always the same. You need of course an account. So go to a search engine of your choice, search for Shutterstock contributor and then the first link is probably what you already need. Then you are here, you can register your account, you can confirm it of course and then when this is done it should look like this. So here is your account and here are your tabs and here you can go to portfolio and then for example to submit content and here are the new works but of course first we have to upload something so you can click here to upload and if you have never uploaded anything this here will pop up where you can see what Shutterstock expects um, when you upload which file which yeah max size min size and so on you can always click on learn more and then here the whole process is explained. We already have a dope stock in our tool and I also made videos about it how your file for example a vector should look like. You can use this also exactly the same for Shutterstock, um, also for the contributor program what you should take care of that you get accepted the first time and then you can upload regularly and so on. So check these videos out about the Adobe Stock upload on Shutterstock it's more or less the same and you can also use of course the same files for example vectors, um, EPS files like here explained. And if you have done this and yeah, if you stick to the rules here then you are able to upload and how you do this with Flying Upload I show you in the next step. You can download Flying Upload from flyingresearch.net. There you can also find all the tutorials, videos and so on. And when the tool is installed, then you can open the stock uploader. And the first thing you should do is configure your settings. So go to options and settings. First of all, your auto login encrypted just on your PC as safe as possible. Go to Shutterstock, here you can enter your user and your password and then you have here as the second point the platform options. Here you also have Shutterstock and these are the options like you also know it from Shutterstock itself. A little bit different but more or less exactly the same. So here you can select your language for your listing for your keywords, then which image type you want to have. Of course, you can also let it auto select by Shutterstock. Then here the usage, commercial or editorial. We only have commercial here. That's why this one here is grayed out, but I think you want to earn something with it. So this is the way to go. And you can also make here your categories. If you want to have it very, very simple, then you can yeah, just select arts. And yeah, this is the one that always goes through and is always accepted. Then of course you also can do a second category if you want. Location is not supported because it needs a lot of extra information and yeah that's uh, a lot of effort and I think most of you um, will upload yeah stock photos, designs, vector files and so on. So it shouldn't matter and here you can decide if Flying should automatically send them to Shutterstock and yeah send them into review or if you want to save it as draft. I would recommend, especially in the beginning, always let it save as draft, check it, submit it yourself and the day when you think, okay, everything always going through, then you can yeah, disable this one. And these are the options you have for your um, Shutterstock upload. Of course, with save, you confirm them and then you have here your files, in my case EPS files. I have here also a folder, so you can see. I have here my 
my EPS file. This is also what is loaded here in flying upload. Then I made a JPEG preview so I always know what happens in the EPS file and here the XML file and here is the data stored. So this here, the listing, for example, this data is stored in the XML file. Um, yeah, it has the same name like the EPS file and here is the data. You can uh, move it where you want. Only important thing, these two things have to be moved together. Um, how I wrote the listing and how you can find your text and everything, I also explained in the Adobe video, it's really the same. This is just an Adobe listing, I will now transfer to Shutterstock and yeah, if you wanna check this out, for example, how to get the text, then check out the Adobe video we made a few weeks ago. Of course, you can here also um, yeah, mark as major content or not. And yeah, when you have done this, you are ready to upload and this is what I show you in the next final step. And now the final step, the upload. You configured your auto login, you set your settings and of course you wrote your listings for your files. This and yeah, many other helpful bulk features come for features like yeah, making a profile and simply applying the data to all the designs is available in the pro version. There is also the full experience of the stock uploader with Adobe and also Shutterstock and other platforms that will follow in the future. Now we go here simply to the upload stock tab and then start the Shutterstock upload. And here this window will open and then Flying will begin to do its job it will log in and then start to upload your files. The Shutterstock upload is a little bit longer than the Adobe one and why it is um, like that I show you also in a second when the EPS file, the first one, is uploaded. So here the pop-ups flying will also click away and also this message. And then it will upload the EPS file and click to next. And here is now the thing with a Shutterstock. Shutterstock always needs a moment to process the file you've uploaded. It can be here immediately, but most of the time it will be uh, a bit yeah of uh, processing time so it will usually take I think around 30 to 45 seconds something like that till the file is progressed and what flying is doing here it refreshes all I think 15 seconds um, if the file is already there and when it is it checking if the file name is available here then it will or it can continue with adding the title and of course also adding the text. So you can see it yeah, updated now two times, it's still not there. Um, this is Shutterstock, not flying, uh, just to let you know, uh, but hopefully the next time it is finally there. Yes, here it is um, and now flying can progress further. You can see also all the yeah pop-ups that Shutterstock is throwing in the way. It is clicked away by flying automatically and then here all the data that you have already added in flying upload will be also added here and yeah, also the keywords and then it will save it as draft. And then the content is saved and yeah, done with the first vector and then it will also upload the second one. Of course, when these pop-ups are not coming up, the upload is immediately faster. This will happen when the first um, yeah, few files are accepted. But yeah, you see it can be a bit annoying, especially when you do it manually and you upload more than one file. 
um, it is always possible that Shutterstock does not show all the files immediately and often it takes a few minutes to progress. But yeah, this is like it is. Um, it takes a little bit longer, but the upload itself is still 100% automated and you can simply watch or you can do something else till the upload here is finished. Um, you can of course let it run in the background so you could for example go back here to the edit um, add more files and then yeah make a listing or something like that. Um, background upload is no problem the only thing that you shouldn't do is minimize because when you minimize the upload window flying can't click anymore and then yeah the upload will stop or the upload will yeah throw an error breakdown and then has to start again but i think you see how it works and how it runs um and yeah flying is doing the job automatically that you otherwise do manually and yeah um this is the whole stock upload process um you can use if you already use it for the adobe stock upload you can use the files exactly the same just check your settings and you ought to log in and if you're interested now simply uh, have a look down in the description box there is all the info you need if you have any questions write it down in the comments like this video and also yeah subscribe to this channel if you're interested in more in a passive income stream in stock photo upload in print only more upload in research and so on then i would say i'll see you in the next video till then